and there we go. Hey guys, uh, Jordan here with a channel update. I have some big news, some very exciting news. I'm going to go like this, so that maybe with some luck, this will be the thumbnail, because this is what I really want to be the thumbnail. Um, this past Sunday, um, I was baptized. Um, I was kind of baptized when I was nine years old. Um, I'm kind of going on the idea that it, it wasn't real. It didn't count. I didn't believe any of the things that I need, needed to believe to be saved. Not truly. Not in my heart. Um, but I was able to reconnect with the man that actually performed my baptism when I was nine years old um, and be rebaptized. Um, if you want to call it that, rededication, rebaptism, whatever, we're arguing words. Um, so I plan to post that uh, tomorrow. It'll be the next video up. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'm very excited to share that with you. Um, it also includes uh, some of my testimony, which I am well aware that if people from work, um, that I know people out in the real world that I know that are not aware of anything in my past, um, if they see it, it some of it might surprise them. I'm talking to you folks right now, co-workers, friends. Um, there are things in my past that I'm not proud of. And I do detail all of that in, in the, the baptism video in my testimony. Um, maybe sometime later I'll do a fuller on testimony on this channel, a fuller testimonial. Um, where I really dig into some of the stuff that went on in my life and, and discuss it a little more in depth. Um, but for right now, it'll be the baptism video. So I'm very excited to share that with you. God saved me from myself. I cannot say that any clearer. I did not save me. I did not save me at all. Jesus saved me. God saved me. The Holy Spirit saved me. I did not. He called he pulled me out. I answered. No work on my own. Simply him. Simply him. Um, so be on the lookout for that coming up here. Um, then I've got another book. I just posted the Mabel in the Tower of Babel. I've got another book uh, for the Lion for Little Ones. It's called Fiddler from the Land of Barely There can see it maybe you can um, this is just kind of it's a really goofy book um, but it's kind of based off of when Jesus said do unto others as you would have them do unto you um, by giving us a fictional story of a bear living in a bear world that visits other bears and uh, uh, treats them treats them how he would like to be treated so We'll have that coming up here. Uh, and then I plan to do some more song covers on Friday. We're going to say, I'm going to do this one. Um, Blessing and honor, glory and power, be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O Ancient of Days. Uh, it's Ancient of Days by Ron Cannoli. And then I'm also going to do uh, Let everything that, everything that, everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that, everything that, everything that has breath praise the Lord. By Matt Redman. 
Uh, so be on the lookout for that, along with some other song covers. Um, reading of the book, we're finished with the book of John. Yay, we finally made it through the book of John. I think the next book I'm going to do is Romans. Um, Romans lays out the Romans road to salvation really clearly. Um, so I think we're going to do that next. If you have any suggestions, any songs that you want to hear covered, any books that you want to see read in uh, The Lion for Little Ones, any uh, uh, biblical books, any of the Bible books that you want to see done for the reading of the book segments, put it in the comments. Send me a message. Once again, as always, contact me at my email if you need me. It's awitness316 at gmail.com. Um, it's in the about section of uh, the channel page too, just in case you miss it. Um, I think that's all I got for you. Make sure you tell people about Jesus. He is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to fix the mess that we make of our lives. Other people will tell you there's other ways. They don't work. At best, they're temporary fixes that lead to eternal damnation. There are no other ways. There are no other paths. There are no other lights. Jesus is the only way. That's it. Only through him and the Holy Spirit working in your life can you be regenerated. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Have a good day. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.